back to the food for thought the last one of this series of this year oh let's get into it okay uh giving when the lord leads helping people know the love and goodness of god keeping the focus on god rather than on things and being generous and allowing god to do a work in our hearts are the keys to making our journey on earth an adventure of joy and purpose these are the keys to the blessed life wow oh my gosh that's it that's it but it doesn't stop here this is just the beginning of the end and like it says given when the lord leads hearing him whatever he says do it helping people telling it to others showing these videos to others telling other people to come and look at these videos when they have questions about giving when they are in doubt when they are in need of guidance in in terms of giving and in terms of god's heart for them and keeping the focus on god rather than the things not looking at his hand look at his face every now and then well most of the time all the time look at his face how about that and then oh surprise the hand will be there and being generous and allowing god to do that work being a generous person, period, it's hard, it's challenging, but, you know, it's something that when we think about what God has done for us, then we can jump right back into it, you know? We have our moments, and, the, you know, sometimes the enemy gets the best of us and gets in our mind and our thoughts and tells us otherwise, but we know who our God is, right? He's faithful, and uh, we don't want to um, get sidetracked from that, and um, I think... I, I agree that uh, that helps to make our journey on earth an adventure of joy as well as purpose. Because if you're looking for purpose, let me tell you, <laughs> if you're looking for a purpose in this life, God can help you. God can show you what your purpose is, especially through giving. If you never thought you had purpose in this life, giving is one way to find out just what your purpose is. And I know that I'm here on this earth. My One of my purposes is to be a giver, to help other people. I'm here so that somebody else's rent can get paid. Or I'm here because so, so someone else can have food on the table. I'm here to show someone the love of God so that they know they can go on day after day after day and have hope and have a future because of God. So the blessed life is not just about you. It's about Pouring that blessing out to someone else, to others, to groups of people so that it can be perpetually poured out so God's love can go through the generations. That's what it's about. So if you're looking for purpose, go, get this book, get this devotional, uh, read, you know, listen, watch the videos, you know, listen to the food for thoughts. I mean, share it with friends and family, discuss it because it is, you know, it's, it's, it's just one thing to hold it and capture it for yourself but to give it away and to share with others is the whole purpose of this anyways for others is about you know others uh the shirt that i had on previously love god love people you know i wear that shirt and sometimes i have to remember it's not i have to live that shirt even when i don't wear it you know um so it's just, you know, just a blessing to be able to bring this to you and to be able to, you know, go through the series and, and learn and relearn some things and pick up things that I may have missed before myself. So I hope that you have enjoyed this, that this has really blessed you, that you have been extravagant in your giving, that you have listened and whatever he says to do, you do it. You know, it's challenging. Trust me, I know it's challenging, but I just pray that God has been leading you and that you have been listening to your shepherd so that you can be blessed and that your flock and your family uh, receives those blessings as well. So I just want to thank you so much out of the bottom of my heart for joining me for, you know, listening and, and tuning in every week and making sure I know that there is a time when we didn't have the videos and doctor says I'm doing good with my uh, recovery of my foot so if you didn't know I had surgery in July and my recovery is still going on so um, some of the videos kind of fell behind but you kept right back up with me and, and you didn't falter and you know you're there and I thank you so much because God is faithful and he is good and I just pray that 2012 is a year of success a blessing of prosperity of of you know of 
extravagant giving and extravagant receiving because you gotta be able to receive as well and not feel ashamed not feel ashamed of what you're giving and not feel ashamed of what you're receiving know that god has your back no matter what so if there's anybody right now that doesn't know the lord is watching this video and is like what is this about giving i mean i caught it, caught it on the last you know week what is this what can god do with my heart let me tell you he can transform your life not just your heart but your whole life so if you do not know christ right now let's pray Lord Jesus, I just thank you for this opportunity to bring people to you, Lord God. I pray that each and every person that is watching this video is blessed beyond measure and that you will help them to transform their life and their hearts, Lord God, so that it will benefit you in, their, in your kingdom and that they will have plenty, that they will have more than enough, more than they need to have and to give away, Lord God. Um, what I want you to do is just say this prayer with me, Lord Jesus. I thank you for coming into my heart, Lord. I confess that I am a sinner. I have sinned and I have fallen short of the glory of your of your will, Lord God. I know that you died on the cross. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and I receive, I receive you in my heart, Lord. I repent of my sins and I receive your blessing on my heart. And I ask that you will just transform my life and my heart, Lord, so that I can live for you. Make me whole and make me new. Cleanse me, Lord God. I just believe, Lord, that your word is true. And I thank you, Lord God. And in your name, Jesus, we pray that the those souls that needed to be saved are saved right now, Jesus. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. So that I just hope that you are blessed beyond measure and have a blessed life. Bye.